Wrestling Observer Live. Mike Sempervivi, also WrestlingObserver.com. Hey, listen, if you're one of the, the nerds that's going to go on today and talk about how it's the worst AEW you ever saw and there was no good matches, just leave now because, yes, it was not the best AEW show that I ever saw, but, man, Nick Jackson and Kenny Omega were so out of this world last night in the 30 seconds or whatever that they were in that ring together. And the main event was excellent leading up to the angle that they did. If those two guys would have had a singles match last night, that would have been a good night of wrestling. Because let me tell you something, everybody. A few weeks ago, they announced that coming up on NXT was going to be what I considered a dream match. And no, I'm not talking about Walter and Tommaso Ciampa. I'm talking about Walter and Drake Maverick. Rarely have I been so excited to see a match. Walter versus Drake Maverick? Are you kidding me? Oh my god. You guys want to know why? You guys want to know why? I was at a show over WrestleMania weekend, and I saw, I'm pretty sure it was MJF versus Marco Stunt. And I watched that match for like five seconds, and I turned to Dave, I believe, and I said, I must have a match with Marco Stunt. You want to know why I said that? Because in my mind, I thought... I thought that we could do a match like what I imagined Walter and Drake Maverick to be. So I was so excited. And they put it on television... And there's three moves, and it's over. I was so disappointed. Now, I can tell you that uh, what I have been told is that they actually were supposed to go longer, but whatever happened, it was one of those deals where time got cut, and they ended up going in, they did their three moves, and they went home. Now, they weren't going to go like 15 minutes. I don't think there's any way it could have lived up to expectations, but what they ended up doing for sure I uh, did not meet my expectations. I was horribly disappointed. Then they advertised a Walter and Tommaso Ciampa for this takeover. And once again, my excitement level was at a 12. Oh my good lord, I thought. I saw this Ciampa Timothy Thatcher match. It was everything I loved about professional wrestling. Now you're going to give me Ciampa and Walter on a takeover, mind you. I got goosebumps right now thinking about when they built up this match. I thought they better not screw me. And then I heard something from a, a buddy of mine uh, the day before. And he said, uh, he said there's going to be one match at WrestleMania uh, over the weekend. I can't remember the exact thing he said, but it was like, it's going to be it's going to be very short and Brian's going to be very disappointed. And I thought, this better not be Walter and Ciampa. <laughs> no. I was so worried. Well, the moral of the story is, everybody, I was not disappointed. This match was everything that I wanted. Like, when I imagined what the match would be, it was everything I wanted and more. Oh, it was a beauty. This this match. And listen, that that uh, Kushida and uh, uh, Pete Dunn match. Mm -hmm. And I know a lot of people love that uh, that tag team match. Mm -hmm. And the women's match was very good. But let me tell you something. Nothing was as good as Valter and Ciampa. And what did I say going in? I said there's a very good chance there's going to be nothing, nothing this whole WrestleMania week that is going to be better than Valter versus Ciampa. Now, I look at this WrestleMania card, and let me tell you something. I don't see nothing on either night of WrestleMania that's going to be as good as this match. Now, the big thing is going to be tonight. Because Adam Cole is going to face Kyle O'Reilly in a no-holds-barred, anything-goes, no-disqualification match. Now, let me tell you something about that match, everybody. Some of the best matches I've ever seen have involved Adam Cole and Kyle O'Reilly. Now they're facing each other. And you know what else? I don't know if this is going to play into it at all, but do you guys remember like a couple of weeks ago, there was a, a Britt Baker match with Thunder Rosa that was also no DQ, no disqualifications, a whole nine yards. Remember that one? Uh-huh. All-time classic. 
Britt is Adam Cole's girlfriend. So I don't know if this is going to play into it, but man, Adam Cole has got the same stipulations for his match with Kyle O'Reilly. His girlfriend just came off an all-time classic. I think that maybe there's going to be just a little bit of extra in there to also try to have an all-time classic here from Adam Cole. But anyway, when I look at these cards, to me, nothing against anything else on these uh, these these takeover show this takeover show here tonight. But there's a good chance that I will not be wrong about this Walter Ciampa match being the best match all of WrestleMania week. You know what I love about wrestling? I love a match where it's two tough guys and they beat the hell out of each other and it's 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 solid and it's stiff but it's also not dangerous. You're not going to be killed by a chop. Let me tell you something. You don't want to be chopped by Walter, but you're not going to die. It's not like, you know, you're dropping each other on your heads and your necks to try to get over that you're working over each over each other's necks. Like Chompa worked over the dude's hand. And Walter is just in there just killing the guy with chops with his hand and such. And that was the whole story of the match. Walter goes for this gigantic chop. And he misses. And he cho- he practically chops the announce table into two pieces. You think I'm kidding? I'm not. Just, things just in pieces. Oh, now his hand is injured. Ciampa's working over his hand, and Walter wants to put him in the full crap. And, oh, his hand, he's got to put his hand behind his back because his hand hurts so bad. Oh, it was a thing of beauty. And by the way, did you guys notice that uh, Tommaso Ciampa shaved his head? Remember, I was so excited, and I was so happy about the, the gimmick of old man Ciampa, and he's growing out his old gray beard, and he's got his old gray hair and his bald head. I loved it. I thought it was great. He's an old, tough guy. Well, the story of this match was not that he was an old, tough guy. The story of this match was that Walter wanted the black heart. The Tommaso Ciampa from two years ago. Well, that's a different guy from the old gray warrior. And so Tommaso Ciampa shaved his head. He was in unbelievable shape. And he was in there, and the black heart was going up against this man who cannot be beaten, this Walter. And they battled, and they just massacred each other. And at the end of the day, the Blackheart could not beat Valter. And it was my favorite kind of finish. It was not that finish where Ciampa's running wild, and he does this, and he does that, and he's killing the guy, and he rolls him back in the ring, and then Valter just hits some big move and pins him. Oh, no. Oh, no. Valter killed him with, like... Five straight giant moves. He he snapped his bad neck. He snapped his bad neck again. He power bombed him to the depths of hell. He power bombed him to the depths of hell again. He covered him, and Chumpa somehow managed to kick out. And so what happened? Did Chumpa get a comeback after that? No. He got up, and Walter killed him with a lariat, and then he chopped his head off, and he pinned him. That's some people online going, I didn't like the finish. brother get a one-way ticket to the moon with uh, Cameron Grimes when he goes to the moon go with him because this is not for you that finish I it was spoiled for me everybody I had somebody and they 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 sent me some message and they were like it's the greatest match and he pinned him with a chop I almost started crying just reading the email and then I watched it he chopped him for the finish oh Rarely have I loved a match as much as I love that match. It's the greatest. So, anyway, for those of you that think that I don't love, I don't love WWE or I don't love wrestling, you know what I love is when it's awesome. And this was awesome. And I dare everybody in NXT in the main roster of WWE, you go in there and you top it. Try. I beg of you. But anyway, we'll get Mike Sauce after the break. We can talk about all the rest, and and it'll be a show. Back in a moment, Observer Live. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.